In this video I'm going to show you how to gap a spark plug and I will be using a uh, Champion J19LM lawnmower spark plug to illustrate how to uh, gap a plug. The first gapping tool I have here is this round one. Um, I've heard this referred to as a coin style gapping tool but I don't know if that's the official name other than uh, uh, spark plug gapping tool. The edge of this tool varies in size. It starts at 20 thousandths and as you rotate the tool it increases in thickness and goes all the way up to uh, 100 thousandths. Uh, on one side of the tool uh, it gives the uh, measurements in inches and if you flip it over the measurements are in metric or uh, millimeters. The next spark plug gapping tool I have is this round uh, wire gauge type spark plug gapping tool. Uh, each of these wire loops is used to uh, gap the spark plug. Uh, the thickness of the wire used in the loops is given here in inches. Uh, for example, the thickness of the wire in this loop is 25 thousandths, the thickness of the wire in this loop is 30 thousandths, and so on. If you turn this over, it gives those same measurements in uh, millimeter. The next spark plug gapping tool I have here is a combination leaf gauge wire gauge spark plug gapping tool. On this end of the tool I have leaf gauges. Uh, they vary in size from 12 thousandths all the way up to uh, 32 thousandths and the measurement is also given in millimeters. On the other side of the tool I have uh, wire gauges which vary in size from 20 thousandths all the way up to 35 thousandths and if you turn the tool over it gives those measurements in millimeter. The uh, spark plug gap is the distance between the spark plugs uh, center electrode and outer electrode. Always check your uh, engine's uh, repair manual or the operator's manual for the proper spark plug gap. Uh, if you buy a new spark plug, uh, the spark plug manufacturer will gap the spark plug. However, you can have one spark plug that's used in multiple engines with different ignition systems, so the gap might not, might not always be the same. So uh, always check the uh, spark plug gap before you install new plugs. To uh, check the spark plug gap using this coin style spark plug gapping tool, choose the thinnest edge of this tool, insert it in between the center and outer electrode, and rotate it clockwise until it stops and then take your reading. Um, here it's about 40 thousandths of an inch. If you need to change the gap of the spark plug, if you need to make the gap more narrow, you can use this tool to press the outer electrode down and then re-measure the gap. Here it's about 36 thousandths of an inch. Uh, if I need to widen the gap between the uh, center and outer electrode, I insert the tool like this in between the uh, gap and then lift up and that bends the outer electrode away from the center electrode and then you can re-measure the, the gap like so. To use the uh, round wire gauge spark plug gapping tool to gap your spark plug, uh, Find the uh, correct uh, spark plug gap on the tool. Uh, let's say for example you want to gap your spark plug to 30 thousandths of an inch so you would use this uh, wire loop here to gap the spark plug. You would take that wire loop and uh, try to insert it in between your uh, inner and outer electrode on the spark plug. Uh, it should fit snug in between the inner and outer electrode. If you need to change the gap, uh, use this part of the tool here in, insert it on the outer electrode like so and you can use it to uh, bend either the outer electrode out to widen the gap or uh, bend it in to uh, make the gap more narrow and you can adjust it to the correct size so that uh, the correct wire gauge will uh, fit snug in between the inner and outer electrode. Using this combination uh, leaf gauge wire gauge uh, spark plug gapping tool is a lot like using this round wire gauge spark plug gapping tool Say for example I wanted to gap my spark plug to 30 thousandths of an inch, I would find my uh, 30 thousandths of an inch um, leaf gauge, which would be right here. And I would insert that in between my inner and outer electrode on my spark plug. It should be a snug fit. 
If I need to uh, change the gap, I can take this part of the tool here and use it to uh, either bend my uh, outer electrode out to increase the gap or in to uh, decrease the gap. And uh, also have the choice of using these wire gauges. It's the same thing, they're all marked. Um, find your 30 thousandths of an inch wire gauge, which would be this one here. And insert it in between your uh, inner and outer electrode. It should be a snug fit. Now, uh, which tool should you use? Um, you basically have two choices. You can either use a, a wire gauge or a leaf gauge. Um, I classify this, um, this coin type spark plug gauge as a leaf gauge. Uh, if you're gapping a brand new spark plug, it, you can use either one, a leaf gauge or a wire gauge, it doesn't matter. But if you're gapping a used spark plug, um, it's better that if you use a wire gauge and I will show you why. On a uh, new spark plug, your outer electrode um, looks something like this. And your inner electrode is something like this. And the, this part of the inner electrode and this part of the outer electrode is relatively parallel. So you can insert a leaf gauge in here or a wire gauge and get an accurate reading, uh, spark plug gap reading. Uh, however, if you have a, a used spark plug, um, spark plugs will wear over time just from the fact that they have that high voltage jumping between the inner and outer electrode. Uh, can cause the metal to wear away. And I'm going to draw it here, but I'm going to exaggerate it just for the sake of uh, illustrating. Your outer electrode can look something like this. And your inner electrode will round a bit, look like this. Now if you stuck a uh, leaf gauge uh, spark plug uh, gapping tool in here, it would fit in here something like this. And uh, you wouldn't get an accurate reading because it can't take into account this wear right here. But if you stuck a, uh, if you used a wire gauge, which can fit in here and take into account that wear, it would fit something like this. And you would get a much more accurate reading um, using a wire gauge. So um, just to summarize, uh, if you got a, uh, if you got a, if you got a new spark plug, you can use either the uh, leaf gauge, which would be these here or a wire gauge but if you're gapping a uh, used spark plug it's always better to use the uh, wire gauge hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching